Once we've opened a new project, such as I've got here with my audio recordings at the top and the level graph coming along, I then need to make sure that I've got all the buttons and tools that I'm going to need to start making my uh, markers and notes about what's been going on in this particular case. The first thing to do is to start adding some of the buttons that you're going to need. All we have to do is click this grey area at the top, we right click on it, and the two that you'll need is the one that says view. This one will add zoom in, zoom out, zoom out full, and also some others on there. And the second one we need, if we right click again, is the one that says marker. And this is the one that will give you the play and stop icons. So when you want to play back your audio recordings, it's nice and easy to do. As mine have done here, sometimes it will list them uh, one on top of the other. And this is not particularly helpful as it shrinks the size of the screen you've got to work with. If you need to move them, there's a kind of barcode just at the side. And all we have to do is left click and drag from there. And we can move these around and drop them into position where we need them. So I'll just reorganize mine. So it's nice and clear along the top. The next section we need to add is the legend to the graph. To do that, we click on view and then legend. I've now got a section just at the side which shows me what these green bars are at the top as well as what the red line running along is. After this, I need to come into this tools menu at the top. If I click tools, I can look all the way down the list, this bottom one that says options. So we select that one. Although there's a lot of different things we can change in here, there's only one key area we need to look, and that's in this media player box. And we need to make sure that it's set to internal NOR review player. If I select it there, it will switch from the installed window player onto internal NOR review player. What this means is that when we click the audio recordings to play them back, it won't try and open Windows Media Player on top of the program. Instead, it will play in NOR review, and this is much more helpful when you're trying to skim through some of the longer audio recordings. We also have a section underneath that that says WAV file amplification, and that should be set to 100%. That means that the audio recordings are going to be played back at the volume that they were recorded in. We can, however, turn this up to up to five times that, so up to 500%. This would mean that we could listen back to the audio at a louder volume than it was recorded at. In cases where it may be uh, more about what was said than what was than how loud it was said, that's the cases where you may need to turn this up. Be careful though, because you need to make sure that you turn it back down before you go into any court proceedings, as it won't be accepted as viable evidence. So for today, we'll make sure that's set to 100%. Once we've got those ones set, we just click OK. Next up, we need to make sure that the marker management section is at the bottom of the screen. So at the top here, I've got marker and I've got marker management. In earlier versions of the software, this was under view and marker management. So if you have got a version earlier than version 5, it might be in there. If we click marker management though, we've now got this section at the very bottom of the screen. And I can click and drag and adjust that so I can see everything nice and clearly. If I click the plus button down here, I can see a list of all of the audio recordings that were made. Now that I've got my screen set up just about how I want it for every time, I can now go into the one that says view. I can come down the list to this one that says default properties and I can click set. What this means is that from now on, every time you open the software, it will always look like this.